channel. My name is Priya Chaudhary and I am going to show you how to copy the attachment from a table to the related list tables. Okay, we will learn this. Uh, we will do this for a single record and you can utilize that for multiple records as well. And we are going to show you with background script and you can use this by using the business rule and other uh, server side script as well. OK, so without wasting much time, let's start the topic quickly. OK, so first of all, let me open the table. The first lights up in. Let's see. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. I have used SCR. It is just SC and then dot. Okay. Okay, so we have opened the RA team table. Now let me open one record. Okay, here we don't have the attachment. Suppose user have submitted some request through the catalog item. Okay, and they have also uh, attached some attachment. And that attachment contains some important important information which is required during the fulfillment of this task. OK, but if the user have attached the attachment through the catalog, so it will be available only to the RITM. Let me attach some attachment here. So when attachment has been attached here, now uh, see this image is available on the RITM page. Let me see whether that image is available on the SC task or not. So that image is not available for this SC task. But it is required to fulfill this task by using that document. So in order to perform those things, they have to write some background script. Let us copy this RA uh, SC task number. Okay. Then open the background script. And you can perform these things by using the business rule as well. OK, so here what we have to do. First of all, we need to understand the logic here. We are going to copy the attachment from RITM to its SC task. OK, that means the operation is going to be performed over the SC underscore task table so we will write glide record first create one object for it new okay then we have to mention the table where we have uh, we are going to perform the operation so the table name is sc task Now we need to add the rig, rig, either add some encoded query or direct query to find the record where this operation is going to be happening. If you have multiple records, you can uh, add here 
or if you have a single record, you can add that also here. If there is a multiple records, then we will use the while. And if a single record, we will just do through the if condition. Okay. So we are going to do for SC task whose number is equal to the copied value. Okay. So by this, the record we have mentioned. Now we will run this. The query we have uh, declared here. Now we are going to run the query. query. Okay. So query has been run. Now, if query has returned the value true, means gr dot next. Okay. So if that is true, then the operation is going to be happen and in operation here what we need to do the copy copy from ritm to the current sc task record okay so there is one glide sys attachment dot copy uh, we are going to use this method glide sys attachment dot copy what it will do it will first go to the source table that is mentioned here sc rdq item and then in this table they will find the record which number or uh, the value is mentioned over here so current and request item we can use in the business rule but as we are using here the background script so we are going to provide here the gr we have query now so the gr dot request item then copied from here and it will attach here then the table name is sc task and the record is gr dot society okay so this way the Attachment going to attach on the SC task. Now the important thing is how they will find request item. GR will only open the SC task uh, form and only make the field available from that form only, right? So GR dot request item. Let me show you. Let me show you this field is available on the SC task form. How? Okay. Okay, so this is the record where we have attached the attachment and here we want the attachment to be available. So in this form, we have query for this form and we need the reference value of the SC RDQ item field and that is available here right click on this field and see what is mentioned in the value of the label requested item request item and the background uh, means the table name is uh, label value is 
request underscore item so that we have this is the field request underscore item we have copied this and use in the background script i hope you guys understand these things now after this uh what we need like once this will run so it will copy the attachment from this table to this table but in the background how will understand that it has run successfully so let me just use some successful message print copied successfully successfully in in g r dot okay so this way now let's just run this script so the output came copied successfully in sc task number this copy this task number and do the global search now in this sc task the attachment is available and this is the same attachment which is available on its ritm record it just open this record and check the same one so this way we have a uh, do for only one record and you can use the while loop or the for loop to do for multiple record okay so uh, you can do the practice for multiple record or you can use through business rule or the same background script that's all for today's hope you found this video informative and the interesting see you in the next video with next interesting and informative use cases bye guys take care